Renesas Synergy ISDE How-To Video Using Express Logic's TraceX with an E-Squared Studio Synergy Project During this presentation, we will demonstrate the steps you will need to enable the simple use of Express Logic's TraceX in conjunction with a Synergy Project using E-Squared Studio. Express Logic's TraceX is an application external from E-Squared Studio used to map operations inside of the ThreadX RTOS. TraceX will utilize a specific type of memory dump to show this information, and this requires that you enable this feature in the project's configuration. One important note is that you will require the use of a production license for this to work, as you will need to have the ThreadX and other modules source code as part of your application. We will start by launching e Studio and opening an existing project that is using ThreadX RTOS. First, we need to add the TraceX source code to our project. For this, you will require a production license. Go to the Threads tab and select the common slash HAL in the Threads pane. Here we will add the ThreadX source by selecting the Add, Framework, RTOS, ThreadX source menu option. Now click on the newly added ThreadX source group and go down in the properties to the Event Trace item and enable it. The default settings will be populated. You may need to adjust the default values if you find you run out of memory during the compiling of the application. You will need to add the source code for any of the ExpressLogic framework components that are in your project, as TraceX will enable special options during the compile time of these modules. Now let's rebuild our application. TraceX is a separate application that can be downloaded from the Renesas Synergy Gallery under the Development Tools menu items. Start your application and run until we get to main. Now click on the menu item Run TraceX Launch TraceX Debugging. Now we will set up the information for the TraceX application launcher. There is no reason to exit the TraceX application. You can just return to eSquared Studio and continue working. Let's resume execution of the application. While it is running, you can select from the menu Run, TraceX, Update TraceX Data, and get a current snapshot of the data in the TraceX buffer. You can also do this if you stop execution at a breakpoint or manually stop the execution. But note that once you exit debugging, you will no longer be able to access this data. Now we will focus on the TraceX utility and see how we can analyze the data. Once your trace file is loaded, you can see different items. Display in sequential mode. This is the default mode. In this mode, events are shown immediately following each other regardless of the elapsed time between them. Note the ruler above the display area. It shows the relative event number from the beginning of the trace. This mode is the default mode and is useful in getting a good overview of what is going on in your system. The time view mode is selected using the time view button. In this mode, events are shown in a time relative manner with the solid green bar being used to show execution between events. This mode is useful for identifying where the bulk of processing is taking place in the system, which can help you tune your system for greater performance and or responsiveness. You can also generate various pop-up reports. TraceX Execution Profile will give you a statistical overview of all the threads in your system and show you the percentage of time the application spent in these threads relative to the others. TraceX Performance Statistics presents the performance statistics of the currently loaded trace file. This information is displayed for the entire system. However, the performance statistics are also available for each specific thread. TraceX thread stack usage presents the stack usage for each thread in the trace file by recording the current thread stack pointer in many of the trace entries in the file. A stack usage of 100% indicates the stack has overflowed and must be corrected in your application. If there is no thread execution within this trace file, the stack usage for that thread is shown as 0%. Now you can set the number of timer clicks per microsecond and then highlight an area to get the delta timing start to end. On the left side of the display, you can see all the threads and instances declared in the application 
and the graphics on the right show when those are active. Each of the colored blocks in the right pane show the state of each thread, if it is running, idle, interrupts, suspended, etc. The controls above here can be used to display different data such as events, context, objects, switches, and IDs. Use these controls to jump from point A to point B based on the type selected. We hope we have covered the basics of using TraceX with Synergy products. Thank you for watching.